Veda, a high school student, is in class when her sister, Amelia, texts her about an emergency. She excuses herself from class and goes to call her sister. Amelia tells her that she wants to share something important, she has just gotten her period for the first time and needs help. Veda talks her through it and promises to have dinner with her later that night. After the call, Veda enters the restroom and finds Mia there, contouring her face in preparation for photo day. As soon as Veda finishes, she washes her hands and compliments Mia. In the process, they hear gunshots from outside the restroom, and students are screaming. They hide together, scared, and are joined by Quinton, who is covered in blood, revealing that his brother has been shot. Quinton informs them that the shooter is Matt. After the shooting, Veda is at home and appears to still be in shock, while Amelia keeps talking about the shooting, the victims, and how the shooter follows Veda on Instagram, despite her not knowing him. Veda leaves her parents and sister, who are worried, and goes to take a shower and then into bed. In bed, she texts Mia and asks how she is doing, also requesting Quinton's number to check on his brother. Mia tells her that she does not have Quinton's number, but she heard his brother passed. The next day, Veda goes to see Nick, who recounts his experience during the shooting and how he has joined a group working to prevent a reoccurrence of such events. Veda is back at home, and Mia texts her, asking what she is doing. She tells her mom she is going to see Nick and then goes to see Mia. At Mia's home, she tells her how much she enjoys her dance videos and likes how she can be a different person when dancing. They chat some more, have drinks, and Veda tells Mia that she's been having nightmares. She asks Mia if she's been having nightmares too, but Mia tells her that she's been unable to sleep. Veda learns that Quinton's brother's funeral has been arranged and asks if it is okay for her to go. Mia encourages her to go and says she'll go with her. They attend the funeral together, Quinton is glad to see them, and after the funeral, Mia and Veda keep hanging out. She helps Mia get some sleep one night, and on her way back home, she calls Nick, who tells her he's been worried about her. He is surprised to hear that she's been hanging out with Mia. Veda's mom tells her that Nick is returning back to school, and it is okay for Veda to take her time. They will support her decision, but she gets a therapist for her, and Veda has her first session with the therapist. The therapist tries to find out how she's doing and how the school shooting made her feel. She tells the therapist that she's chill and knows how to get her emotions in check. After her first session, her mom tells her the therapist thinks she did amazing. She asks her mom if it means she wouldn't have to go back there, and her mom replies, asking if she is ready to go back to school. Her mom then asks if she is going to go into the mall with them, but she says no. When her mom persists, she shouts at her, and she is left alone in the car. She continues to hang out with Mia and gets a text from Quinton thanking her for attending his brother's memorial. She goes out with him, gives him a hug, seeing that he needed one. She goes back to Mia, where she swims, they chat, and she smokes weed after. Veda's mom talks to her about going back to school, and she tells Mia about it. Mia tells her that her dad's told her she can homeschool for as long as she wants. Veda goes back to school, but settling is hard. She cannot enter the restroom where she hid during the shooting, despite being pressed. So, she pisses herself when going home, and someone opens a can of soda. She starts to do drugs too and is beginning to lose focus in class. She gets so high in class, excuses herself, but is unable to climb the stairs the right way. So, she texts her best friend, Nick, that she's high, and he comes to pick her up. Back at home, after washing up and sleeping, she gets a call from Quinton, who tells her she had texted him earlier, saying that she was high. Quinton tells her to stay safe, and he'll be there for her if she needs anything. So, she invites him over to see a movie. While waiting for Quinton, Amelia keeps asking if he is Veda's boyfriend, and she tells him no. He finally arrives, and they see a movie together. When they decide to see another one, Quinton looks at his phone, looks all sad, then tells Veda he's leaving as he has family stuff at home. Veda goes to hang out with Mia, and they go out, have drinks, chat, and have fun. Veda asks Mia when she lost her virginity, but Mia tells her that she is still a virgin. After they arrive back home, Veda tells Mia that she knows she is a lady of few words. Then, she asks Mia what she is thinking, what is running through her head, what she will regret not saying if she dies the next day. Mia tells her that she can't say it, and they kiss and make out after. The next day, Veda gets up with Mia still in bed and heads home. She gets home to meet her parents worried, and when they ask where she's been, she tells them that she's been with Nick. They tell her Nick's been calling, asking after her because her phone's off, and she should say where she's really been, but she slams her bedroom door on them. She has her bath and goes to see Nick, 
who tells her she's not doing much to get better and has been coping poorly. She gets pissed, leaves his house, and calls Quentin who tells her that Nick is only scared and looking out for her. She asks him to talk about his brother, which he does. She kisses him after, but he tells her that he's not in the right headspace and that he's sorry. She ignores Mia's text and goes to bed. Amelia tells her she knows she's always been at a particular house, and she tells Amelia that it's her friend Mia's house. Amelia tells her she's sorry for putting her in harm's way and Veda tells her she did nothing wrong. But Amelia tells her that she thinks Veda hates her as she is never home anymore and never talks to her. Veda assures her that she is not at fault. She tells her how she felt she was going to die when the shooting happened and all she could think about was her. The next morning, her dad takes her out to watch the sea, and they both vent. He tells her how much he loves her. Veda goes to check on Mia, who she finds dead drunk. As Mia gets better, she asks if Veda hates her because of what happened, and Veda tells her no. She is only scared it might ruin their friendship. Mia expresses the same, and they make a pact not to ruin it. Mia tells her she is going to return to dance classes and asks what Veda will do. She tells her that she will go with her. Veda tells her therapist that she feels mad at the shooter for messing up her life and the lives of so many people. Also, because a lot of people are using the incident to try to change the world, and she is unable to do anything. She tells her that her relationship with her best friend, Nick, is strained, and that she really misses him. The therapist notices progress. Veda gets home, hugs her mum, and tells her she's sorry. She tells her she will be more open about herself from now tells her about all the things she's done ever since she's been struggling as a result of the incident, the drugs, smoking, drinking, and having sex with a lady. She goes to wait for Mia in front of her dance class and sends a text letting her know she's there. A notification pops up on her phone about another high school shooting in Ohio, and she suffers a panic attack. 